What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Route 11, I think, battled a few trainers, got our butts kicked and all that stuff. Now, it is time for us to go to the Diglett's Cave because we got a little bit of a, of a mission to do. We're just going to collect some stuff and then, you know, shut it down for the day and all that stuff. I'm <laughs> just playing. It's going to be the most boring episode ever, guys. Talk to this guy. Let's see. Well, Albie, did you know this huge long tunnel? It was dug entirely by Diglett. So goddamn true. And the name says it for itself, guys. You will be finding some Diglets right here all over the place. And they will be very fast. And they will just pop out of randomness. So just be aware of that right there. Um, if you guys want, yeah, this is the place to go because there's nothing but Diglett. Because there's nothing but Diglett's. And, well, I'm trying to look at some spots right here if there's, like, some hidden items. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Alrighty, look at that. We're running. We're running. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Seriously? Man, this Diglett's cave has just been boring. Let's see, where are you anything? Oh, no. Just, uh... Just uh, diglets, more diglets, and all that stuff. So, anywho, feel like uh, after. Oh wow! Didn't even know Zubats were in here. So, after you know, I kind of feel like defeating Lieutenant Surge. You are enabled to actually do a little bit more before you get into the fourth badge. And I think this is like, for me, it's like the quarter thing, quarterly thing in the Pokemon game, in any part, kind of a Kanto uh, Pokemon game. I don't know. If, I'm just, it's, this is just me rambling. Talk to this guy. I've heard that there's a tunnel even darker inside than this one somewhere. Somewhere out there. I wonder where it could be. But yes, in this area right here, you will be able to go to the back streets of, uh, you know, Route 2. And you'll be able to collect some some stuff that you couldn't, uh, you weren't able to do so before. Now, if you go right here, you've seen this guy before. Draven! Remember me? I'm one of the professor's, uh, Professor Oak's assistants. I'm so glad I ran into you. Why don't I show you a neat trick? Actually, no. It's a little too bright out here. Inside. I'll be waiting inside for you to show you whenever you're ready, Draven. Okay, alrighty. So he's gonna t show us a neat trick. Let's go right ahead and see what this whole neat trick is all about. Alright. So you came. Then let's get down to brass tacks. I've got something good to show you. Believe it or not, I mastered the, te the secret technique, Light Up. Now let me turn off the lights and... There, nice and dark. Now, if you calm your heart and breathe deeply, you will be able to sense your surroundings, no matter how dark it is. And bam! See? It seems bright, even when it, with the lights off. My keen focus spreads the to those around me, you see? Here, I can teach you how to do it, too! And, of course, Pikachu's like, hold on, I can learn this. Huh. It seems Pikachu wants to learn it instead, Draven. What? And you say it already knows the secret technique chop down? I see. Professor Oak had mentioned it, but it really does seem that your Pikachu is special. Fascinating. Let me, tr let me try to teach it. Here, let me turn off the lights again. Now, Pikachu, follow what I do. Calm your heart. Breathe deeply and sense your surroundings. Super Saiyan Pikachu. Look at that. So there it is, guys. We learned another secret technique. Light up. You're a Pikachu. Or you, Pikachu. It's really quite wonderful. Now, use secret techniques to your heart's content. Since they're not moves, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't even have energy. Or the energy to battle. This is true. This actually, uh, this actually helps us out in the long run, guys. Like, I'm so glad that they took away HM moves because <laughs> it's a struggle. You needed to have Pokemon surrounding HMs and all that stuff. Let's see. You can get through the rock tunnel if you use the secret technique light up. Do you know where the rock tunnel is? You'll find it if you head east from Cerulean City, which we will eventually get to, you know, pretty soon. But right now, we're going to take care of this business because... We got a lot of other business, and this guy right here... Oh, Draven! Did you learn to le how to use light-up from Professor Oak's assistant, too? What? You didn't learn it, but Sparky did? That partner of yours really is amazing, Draven. Hey, 
You know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. Want me to take you there? Uh, I'm just gonna go. Nah, I'm fine by myself. Really? Well, okay. You sure? You sure you'll be all right? Yeah, I'll be all right all by myself. Okay. Just in case. Uh, just in case, though, let me give you the directions. If you head east to Cerulean City, you'll you'll reach a place called Rock Tunnel. It's supposed to be uh, pitch uh, pitch dark in there. Be careful. Yeah, I. Yeah, like I didn't really need him to take me anywhere. The only reason I said no is because we got stuff to do right here, guys, and I kind of don't want to <laughs> go fly back and forth and all that stuff. So I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And is there an item right here? Maybe. I don't know. All right. Time to be a treasure hunter. Yeah, like I said, guys, this actually uh, the secret techniques has actually done done us justice without you know the whole HMs being a problem now. Believe it or not, HM moves here are now TM moves, so you can actually switch them out whenever you want. Now, if you go in here, let's see. CP stands for combat power. Whoa, combat. Why can't it be KP? You know, mortal combat. All right, talk to this person. People who, who can use secret techniques are so cool, aren't they? Can you use them? Yes, I can. And there is nobody here. So now, we're moving on further, and we're going to be finding some items right here. Look at that. We found ourselves a Leaf Stone, which will actually help us evolve a Pokemon here and there. And I feel like there's an item right here. Look at that. There it is. Super Potion. Yeah, buddy. And then, let's see. Is there anything else right here? I don't know. All right. So, this, there could be one more item right here. I don't know that I could be... <laughs> trying to get hopefully get okay so we got all the items right here guys we don't necessarily need to go through vermilion forest just to get to pewter city but there is one more thing that we can do before we get to uh well before we go head into the next uh, stage of this whole uh thingamabob right here and that is we're gonna go straight to the museum because there is a little item that we need to retrieve over there and bam pikachu chopping down trees like a champ all right, let's see. I think there might be an item right here. Could be wrong, though. Ah, yes, there it is. Item has been found. Three great balls. This is always good. And is there anything here? No. I don't want that Pidgey to hit me now. So let's go right ahead and chop down this tree. Look at that. Little Paul Bunyan Pikachu. And now we're back to where it all started. And there is one more location to go to, and that is the the backside of the of the museum right here. So let's go right ahead and take care of that. Of course, this is the location where we're going to actually find the uh, the old amber. So that's actually something we need to go to, uh, go get. So here it is. Chop down, chop down. Okay. And well, look at that. Everybody's looking at us. How did you get here? <laughs> The secrets of space. The mysteries of Earth. There are so many things about which we know so little. But that should spur us to study harder, not throw in the towel. Wow, very perceptive. Talk to this guy. We have two fossils of rare prehistoric uh, Pokemon on exhibit. Oh yeah? I got one. <laughs> and if you talk to this guy... You can't sneak in the back way. Nice try, kid, but no. Oh, whatever. Do you know what an amber is? No. Amber is actually sap, that gooey stuff that oozes from trees. The ancient sap fossilized over time to become rock-hard amber. Hmm, you don't say. Look at that. That looks like a Dragon Ball. It really does look like a Dragon Ball. It's freaking hilarious. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Shh, listen. I need to share a secret with someone. I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be a shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. So, I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this examined at the Pokemon Lab somewhere. So there it is, we get ourselves a Dragon Ball. And, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna get that check. So that, I guess that's pretty much it right there. <laughs> wow, very simple. Very, 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 very simple. 
And, well, let's go ahead and check, uh, take a look at this lady who has the, uh, slowpoke. Why, hello, do you think you can keep an eye on my slowpoke again? Sure! Why, thank you so much. In that case, please keep, a, uh, keep my dear slowpoke company for a little while. That is exactly what I'm doing. What up, slowpoke? It's been a while. You're a pretty cool Pokemon. You're just staying there, wondering what's going on. Slowpoke seems to be very good at, at doing nothing. You spent a relaxing time with Slowpoke. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Doing nothing with Slowpoke. <laughs> and well, after doing that, here's a little something for our trouble. We get ourselves a Big Pearl, which we'll be selling for good money right there. Very, very good money. I would love it if you would keep an eye on my Slowpoke again sometime. So remember, every day you keep an uh, eye on Slowpoke, it's more money for you guys right there. So... Yeah, that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. I know, short, sweet, everything. But this one right here is very important to me because now, off screen, I will be capturing a boatload of Pokemon. I might be evolving a lot of Pokemon. Hell, I might even uh, be filling up the Pokedex because, uh, let's see. Let's see, what do we got on our Pokedex right here? Look at that. So we've obtained 46 Pokemon out of the 72 we've seen. And there are quite a few Pokemon out there that we still need to capture, like Sandshrew. Kind of want to evolve Nidoran Male into a Nidorino, because I already got Nidoking. And, well, get myself some more Moonstones. That way I can evolve the remaining Moonstone trio or Pokemon that can evolve through Moonstones. But, anywho, that's exactly what's going to happen right here, guys. Off screen, I'm going to be traveling around like a madman, capturing as many Pokemon as possible. Don't be too surprised if any of my Pokemon's levels are just through the roof. Uh, I'm only thinking that I might not grow Dratini's level any further right now because eventually that Pokemon's not going to, not going to obey us because it is a tr technically it is a traded Pokemon. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching this episode, supporting this this whole walkthrough. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. See you.